Hey guys, this is a review of the Surebonder Cordless Glue Gun. Stick around to the end if you wanna know my opinion if the extra dollars are worth going cordless or just stick with the corded. All right, so let's open up this bad boy. Maybe. One thing I like about their packaging, so you can like Hulk smash it open. You know how you have to always get like 18 scissors and rip it open. All right, some good, what is it, ASMR for ya? See, handy. Let's see if we can get the other pieces out. When you get a new toy, you kind of just want to like rip it out, right? All right, garbage. So right off the bat, it's pretty cool that you were able to just like literally lift the glue gun completely separate away from like all of the pieces. That is super handy. So I use my glue gun daily. Like I don't ever turn them off. I probably go through glue guns maybe twice a month. I use them, I use the heck out of them to the point where they're so gross and nasty that it's just easier to buy a new one than it is to attempt to clean it. Cause I've tried, I've had cords go out. I've had everything go wrong with them. But I will say that I've always stuck with the Sure Bonder brand because by far they're the best in my opinion. I've gone cheaper and they're garbage. I love the Sherbonder brand. I just wanted to try a new version of their glue gun. So pretty straightforward as far as setup. I will say it's pretty snazzy. I mean, look how clean that looks too. So I know you're supposed to be able to like, what, pop this up here? No, to like still use it corded. So that's still an option but I wouldn't do it. It's really clunky in here like that. It's nice having this little plate here to catch all your little doodads, drippings and whatnot. It is a little tight going in and out, but I'm hoping that will loosen over time. But So I this is actually my second cordless that I've bought. I mostly bought another one because when I do YouTube tutorials, I want a super nice clean glue gun to glue things. I usually leave my glue guns on all the time and they just get nasty and gross. So for film purposes, I wanted another one anyways. Let me show you my other glue gun that I've been working with for about a month now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it since it's far away. One drawback about this gun, glue gun versus my corded guns, it drips a lot, which I will say this plate is really handy that it's dripping exactly onto the plate. But my corded glue gun, does not drip this much. It's pretty solid and it doesn't make a mess at all. So my expectations for this model was to be able to kind of like move around a little bit more, be a little bit more free versus the corded one. I just thought like, oh, I can just pop this off and kind of take it wherever I need to take it. Uh, not worry about cords with little kids. If I wanted to move sceneries, move somewhere else, it wasn't a big deal. But I will say it doesn't quite give me as much flexibility as I was hoping. So it's about two minutes of consistent heat when it's off the charger. So that does give you plenty of time to like get a few things done and then you gotta pop it right back on. So it's slowly loosening over time, but it's still pretty stiff, I will say, as far as like, I can't just like one hand it, I gotta two hand this or I've like, wrangled it off just to get it clear of the base. So, but it pops on really well, or if I'm working a lot, then putting it back on the base where I'm like glue, 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 and then I'm like not really paying attention, it's like wrangling it over there. So that is kind of one drawback versus the corded one where it's like you got your feet. This doesn't have feet, so as far as just laying it down, you're just kind of um, plopping it on your surface. It does have these handy wings though, so that when you do plop it down on your surface, your hot point is not touching anything, like your surface and ruining that. Um, and also it's keeping the direction of the glue going down so it's not gonna clog up and do anything like that. So some of the things I really, really like about this. I don't know if you guys dealt with a lot of like spider webs, glue webs that come off of the glue. They're just so annoying and I'm constantly picking and pulling them off. I will say because this one doesn't have the feet on it, the glue spider webs don't get stuck 
on the actual glue gun, making the glue gun a nightmare of a mess. I'm able to just rip them very cleanly off. It makes one tiny web, I clean it off, and then I'm good to go. Versus the other one, it would like wrap around the feet, wrap around the base, wrap around the cord, wrap around whatever I was working on, wrap back around, and you're constantly like detangling yourself from webs. I work really fast, so I deal with webs a lot. You can definitely go slower and eliminate them more, but I don't have time for that. So I will say that's really handy. It's kind of nice not having the feet. When you're going and doing detail work, the feet don't get in your way because who really pops them up every single time because we are literally just gonna set it right back down. So I never pop my feet back up. So it does have a two minute workable time. But with that being said, it's still hot. So you can go past the two minutes. I think I worked with it for about five to 10-ish minutes before I really started noticing that the glue was just coming out really slow and I was having to put a lot of pressure on this handle. I mean, let's see, it's, you saw, I mean, it's been a few minutes since I unplugged it and it's still moving glue through really, really well. It says two minutes, but you can definitely make that longer. So that's really handy when you're doing a lot of glue work. You just take it off, you glue, 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 set it down, glue, 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 for you got like about 10 minutes before it's really, really hard to push through. But I will say, plopping it back onto the charger, 10, 15 seconds, you're up and running again. 30 seconds if it's been a long time, it'll reheat really, really quickly, so you're not really losing any time. So that's really helpful. So one downside of using it without consistently keeping it on the charger and off is that when you go to reheat it, because the temperature is fluctuating so much, it tends to just kind of like push out really fast. So I would highly suggest if you take it off and reheat it, that you kind of do a few test pulls, get that first little like blub out, and then it'll go into going a little bit more consistent. But when you're in a hurry and you're going onto your piece and you just like shoot out way more glue than you need, it, it can be very, very frustrating. So that's one kind of drawback where like corded, it's very consistent the entire time. All in all, I think this is a great unit. It has its limitations. I would say that I probably in the last month have bounced back and forth between my corded and cordless quite a few times. Sometimes I just need to, you know, get way over here or way over here and I just need a little bit more flexibility on space where cords are a little, obviously you're stuck with cord length. But for as much as I use it for a heavy user, I probably will stick more likely with my corded one because it just gives me a little bit more consistency. However, if you're a casual user, needing more flexible space, I would definitely go with this cordless one. I think it's fantastic and great. Um, also, for kids, some of the things that I have a huge issue with is my, when my kids are running around my work table and my office and stuff, they'll yank the, the cable and it'll, my glue gun will go flying and it terrifies me that someone's gonna get burnt. In fact, I've burned myself before, um, trying to catch glue guns you know, that are falling. So at least, as long as this is not on the base, obviously, the fall aspect of it is greatly reduced. So if you're working over here, your kid comes in, runs over and knocks this off, no big deal, your gun's safe in your hand. So that is one bonus. I will, I am still hoping that this kind of loosens up over time so that you can just like palm it really quickly. I think that would solve a lot of problems to be a little bit more efficient. But if you're just a casual user doing projects here and there, I think this is a great unit and a great tool to have. This unit is a little bit more money than, it's about 10-ish 10, 10 dollars more than the corded version of it. So for me, I go through the guns every two-ish months. So going with the cheaper route makes more sense for me. But if this is just your around the house kind of glue gun that you're casually using, I would invest in the extra $10 upsell for a little bit of freedom. Link below in the description for this glue gun and be sure to like and subscribe if you wanna hear about more tools and tricks in the crafting world.